Hello and welcome to my studio. I, my name is Tara Erin and I am the artist in a cubicle. And I'm making myself get on camera today because it has been way too long and my imposter syndrome has been hijacking my creativity for oh, at least a few weeks now. I did have some legit technical difficulties um, December or January, but I am so excited. I have a new computer. Dudes, check it out. It's new to me and I love it. It's great. It's a Dell and it's got all kinds of RAM and it's got all kinds of good stuff in it. So yes, I can produce these videos now in about a tenth of the time it was taking me before. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, <clears throat> and I really have no excuses anymore, which made me say, Tara, why are you avoiding your work? I did have a slight medical scare. Not not too bad, honestly, uh, in, in the overall scheme of things. But I did have a severe hypertensive episode um, about a month ago. And I have been taking some time to really reassess my self-care practices and build some healthy new routines. And it's been good. That's been really, really good. So I'm going to say some of the time certainly has been legitimate. And um, one of the themes I've been exploring in this entire period has been self-compassion and self-care. And so, so that's fine. Um, another thing I've been uh, playing around with is simplification. You know, a lot of what create the creative process is, is about making choices. There is, we, we traditionally think about, when we think about creativity, we tend to think about the, the divergent phase of creativity, the brainstorming, coming up with all kinds of ideas, or also, you know, um, uh, anything is possible when you have a new canvas, etc. But you also have the convergent phase of the cycle. It's, it's like breathing and you go, expand bringing in the fresh air to your lungs and then out inspiration and um expiration seems wrong doesn't it <laughs> we're not trying to kill people here but anyway where i was going with that is that the creative process really needs both phases to be complete you need both the inspiration and the exhale and so um, I guess I've been in sort of the exhale phase and cutting off some some stuff that was unnecessary and weighing me down. Um, in fact, that's one of the reasons I've been a little embarrassed to get back on camera because I know that, you know, a month or so ago I did my video on here's my bullet journal and here's all the new templates I've created. And since then, I have ditched one and a half of them, actually. Um, so... We're going to start with that. We're just going to confront that head on. Here is my bullet journal. It's actually pretty slim. Um, I have taken out all of the weekly pages because I found that they didn't really serve any purpose for me. I think I mentioned in one of my recent videos that I sort of moved my work stuff back onto digital and I'm actually liking that. It allows me to sort of keep it contained in that physical space. Um, my hand over here, it's pointing at my home office actually. And I, it's a great home office, and I like being able to close the curtain on it at the end of the work week and really allow myself time for home and self-care and creative practice. And moving my, my work uh, off of paper and back into a digital format has had a lot of wins in a lot of ways. Um, so it, it was necessary for a time. I got a lot out of it. But that's, that's done. And um, knowing when to move to the next phase is also part of the creative process. So, um, you know, in January, I was working with a theme of um, honor your intuition. And for February, the corresponding theme actually has carried on. Your intuition will reward you. So as you can see, this is my same um, monthly page that I was using before. I've added a column for my blood pressure tracking. Hey, look, the numbers are getting good, guys. I'm, I'm doing fine. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's pretty serious. And I'm also doing really, really well with my personal goals of 
you know, making sure that I am, um, you know, doing my meditation daily and some physical activity, stretching and walking. Um, I'm really monitoring my alcohol intake uh, because I just find that the older I get, the more it wears me down. And the more I'm mindful about it, um, the better I feel, truly. I even, um, you know, I had three glasses of wine the other day and I was like, oh, you know, I think, I think it, I'm, I'm a couple of weeks away from being 50. I think two, two is enough. <laughs> so, um, even on a party night. So, uh, let's see. And then I've just got my tasks on the back page as I had. And I, I find that this is really enough detail to sort of keep me on track. And I don't really need more than that. Um, I was, I was just doing a lot of copying week to week. So this is the, the simplified, uh, the simplified strategy on bullet journaling. And another area where I've simplified my journaling is in my quarterly goals. I really found again that trying to track every single detail of them. Um, so I, I had created a, a front page with three objectives, um, and key results for the quarter. Uh, January through March. And I like that format and I sort of cleaned it up and simplified it. And uh, I'm really finding this to be useful to refer back to when I am, um, when I am, you know, trying to make sure that I am making progress in all areas. And I'm not making as much progress, but having this set of three goals for the quarter really helps me zero in on those areas that need more attention. Uh, and then, like I said, the back of the original format of my quarterly was like, okay, I'm going to check off every day of every month. And am I doing all this? And it was just, you know what? It was more work than actually doing the stuff itself. It was not helpful. And, um, uh, and it was quite redundant, frankly, with the monthly habit tracking I'm already doing in some areas. And it's, uh, you know, yeah. not, it, I didn't find it to be useful. So I did away with that. And I also did away with my highly structured and rigid um, content planning. And I just switched over to more of a, more of a list of, hey, here's what I'm thinking about and what I want to do videos on in the near future. So, um I'm, I'm liking this because it really feels like a an approach that integrates with this idea of uh, taking more guidance from my intuition. So that's the bullet journal update for right now. And next, I want to share with you uh, where I'm going with my creative practice starting uh, this week. So I almost forgot one of the coolest things I wanted to share. This is my um, quarter three and quarter four 2019 bullet journal. As you can see, just for half a year, it was really pretty thick. Um, but oh my gosh, this is my favorite thing ever. So if you are using a disc, disc planner for your bullet journaling, you can actually take the pages and just bind them. All I did was I took the thread and I wove it in and out between the different holes of the mushroom punch all the way along the spine at the top flipped it over and went back the other way and just look at that beautiful binding extremely sturdy and now um, I have this as something I can go back to if I need to there's still uh, two or three things that I wanted to pull from it and um, you know and just revisit some of the open inquiries that are still in this book, but moving on and not having to carry this weight with me. So again, just another shout out for Discbound Planners as a great resource for bullet journaling, um, particularly if you want tons of flexibility and you don't want to feel like you are, you know, locked into this precious, you know, $40 uh, journaling book or something. Um, you know, I just buy, I buy really good paper, print it myself, and I really am so happy with this format for bullet journaling. So consider something worth considering. Uh, easier to buy a $50 punch and 
customize the journal. Yeah. So here we are um, <clears throat> with my creative practice this month. I will be starting to doing starting to do some cosmic smashbooking. So what is a cosmic smashbook? Well, uh, this here is the cosmic smashbook that I created for my Teach the Teachers training last year with Kat Bildegiller. And as you can see, it's kind of a uh, a junk journal slash multimedia um, menagerie. It's got, uh, you know, it's got, I did a woven binding. I've got others that have got uh, ribbon bindings. Um, I've got others that don't have any bindings at all. Uh, but they're basically uh, composition books. So, you know, those little black and white books that you get from uh, any office supply store and they have been transformed into these art journals and um, so you can see this is just I've uh, glued every other page together and this is a process that I teach that I have been trained for and that I will be offering a free weekly session called medicine cabinet As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I've had to spend a lot of time thinking about self-care and this is actually a course that I have been wanting to teach since I did my teacher training last year and it feels like this is the right time to open it up. So I hope you will be inspired to get your own uh, composition book and I have a free e-course that I can um, send you to if you are a veteran Cosmic Smash Booker, just bring whatever journal you want. Um, I will spend some time at the uh, outset of the first couple of courses for people who need to set up their own Cosmic Smash Book journal. But um, I also have a full e-course that shows you how to turn your composition book into a Cosmic Smash Book. So um, you can also email me studiotaraerin at gmail.com and I will send you the password for that class if you would like to jump in right away if this looks really cool to you and you would like to spend some time um, preparing to join. And then every week you can join with me on... I'm going to pick a night. I, I've been putting it out there, but I think I'm going to pick Wednesday nights, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, and it'll be completely free. So again, uh, go to just, you can email me, studiotaraerin at gmail.com, or go to my website, taraerin.com, and there will be a pop-up box where you can register for my free Wednesday open studio medicine cabinet cosmic sm smash booking class. Each week of medicine cabinet, we will be focusing on one aspect of self care. Might be self compassion, it might be forgiveness, it might be, um, you know, it might be more tangible, it might be diet and nutrition or exercise, but we'll be creating a repertoire of inquiries that we can go back to and use them over and over again, like a medicine cabinet for self-care of ourselves on all levels, um, not just the physical level, but not excluding it either. And uh, so, you know, maybe taking an index card and working through creatively on the theme for that particular session and uh, then when we go back we'll have a set of cards that we can pull at any time that we need to really help ourselves focus on improving our self-care medicine cabinet is part of a larger um, initiative as well that I am hoping to expand in 2021 and that is called Council of Muses. Council of Muses uh, was launched in 2019 and ran throughout 2020 as a creatively integrated mastermind group 
for women who are trying to make their dreams happen in the world. So there will be more to come on Council of Muses in, in the coming weeks, in the coming videos. Uh, but for now, let's just get started with Medicine Cabinet. I hope I'll see you there. So I seem to be on one of those days when I'm remembering everything after I think I'm done. And the last thing is I wanted to invite you all to um, my Twitch live stream. I am going to be at Studio Tara Erin um, on Twitch. And I will be actually finishing this painting from Council of Muses 2019 and 2020. So uh, just one of the members of the Mastermind group had asked for some additional uh, coaching after we had finished the formal painting process for the year. I teach a 13-step painting process um, known as the Color of Woman Method. And, um, you know, we, we went through that over the course of a year, but there's still the question of what if it doesn't feel finished when you're done with that? So um, keep an eye out for that. I will be announcing it on Facebook when I go live and uh, hopefully able to save and share that live stream as also a video here on my YouTube channel um, for Artist in a Cubicle goes to the studio.